Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. Today we're going to be taking a look at Oculus Google Street View, which is uh, one, one enthusiast named Luca Siciliano took, um, basically has integrated the Oculus Rift with Google's immense Google Street View database, which enables you to now go to any place where Google Street View has data and look around in that location as though you were there. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So the setup for this is pretty simple. It actually runs on the web. And you just have to download a pro uh, little server program and run it, which takes the tracker information from the Rift and sends it to this web application. I am now inside. It starts you out in this random location in Genoa, Italy. We're down at some docks. There are some boats here. And you can actually walk in um, any location where there's adjacent Google Street View data. You can hit double control and you will walk to the adjacent location. Now, if you haven't been there before, it'll take a couple seconds to load. So this is not as spontaneous walking like you'd see in a typical game, and it's certainly not smooth, but it still enables you to do some amount of walking around inside of these locations. We're apparently at a uh, Italian yacht club, so that answers that question. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and choose some other location, any location we want in the world. So all this blue here represents places we can go. And we can also type in an address in the search box down at the bottom. So I'm going to randomly choose, oh, I don't know, Queen Street in Auckland, New Zealand. And just like that, here we are. Queen Street, if you're not familiar, is a major commercial center in downtown Auckland, New Zealand. I've actually been here, so these buses and these shops are pretty familiar to me. You can see the skyscrapers, you can look up at them, and this is all pretty cool. You can enter any specific address and go directly there. Um, you can enter names of um, specific landmarks. So I could go to Big Ben in London. So that didn't work right away because Big Ben is not direct itself a street view location. But if I just zoom in a little bit, I should be able to pick a nearby location. So I'm going to click um, over here on the street. So now I'm on the street next to Big Ben, and sure enough, there it is. It's pretty big. And if I walk down this way, I can see that I am near Parliament Square. There's a bunch of tourist attractions here that are fun to see. And you can just imagine right away all the applications for this, just in terms of virtual tourism, in terms of being able to um, uh, see your route from the perspective of how you'll really see it in real life when you're walking down the street or driving. Um, and in addition to these street views, which obviously is most of Google's database, they also have locations um, in their database that um, you are not at all accessible by road, for example. There is this one, which is Antarctica. We are now at the South Pole. In fact, they have put a pole there to indicate that this is the South Pole, and there it is. You can actually see the shadow of the guy with the camera equipment right there. And you can see the flags of all the countries. And other than that, you can just see a whole lot of snow because it's very cold at the South Pole. Other locations that you can see that are pretty cool. So we can go to the Eiffel Tower. And I believe we should be able to get on their uh, viewing platform. Indeed, here we are. So there's their champagne bar. And if we turn around, we have an awesome view of Paris all around us. And we can actually uh, walk around the platform a little bit, get a view of the city from different viewpoints. So 
So that is really cool. Now let's visit another place. This is a train station in Taiwan. Very elaborate. I forget exactly which one this is. But it's also probably some kind of major commercial center with lots of shops and stuff. From here, we're going to jump to this car museum. This is in Germany. And Google Street View is indexing just more and more of these indoor locations like this. And it's really cool to be able to jump inside one of these museums and look around. And get a close view of all the artifacts without having to pay any admission fee or travel to Europe. And it'll be even cooler when it's higher resolution and you can actually like read the details of all these signs and so on. Now we are in a British Columbia aerial museum. This is a plane museum. You can see this plane right in front of us coming up to us. There's a larger plane over there. And as usual, we can walk around inside the museum and get a view of different parts of it. See this engine over here. And so on. And in this one, we're looking at this giant, this giant battleship. I don't actually know if it's a battleship. I don't know much about naval stuff. Point is, it's a ship. It's pretty big. We can walk up to it, see just how big it is. And last but not least, this is a uh, another tourist attraction. I believe this one's in Oregon or Washington, and it is um, it's a boat. So this is a particular room on the boat, and we're going to walk out the exit door there and check out some more of the boat. Almost there. Walking out the door. Here we are. Now we're in the uh, the halls of the boat. We can look up and down. That's the room we were in, the Queen's Salon. Um, I believe this is a maritime museum, so this boat doesn't actually go anywhere. It just hangs out and people visit it. You can walk down this hallway. It's always interesting to see like the expressions on people's faces as you walk by them because they're like looking at Google's crazy camera equipment. This store apparently has giant stuffed bears in front of it. Hello teddy bears. Hello other teddy bear. So you'll notice we're quite a bit taller than these teddy bears. In fact, they're almost as tall as this sign here. And I think that just reflects the fact that Google's equipment is like well over six feet tall, which is taller than I am in real life, so it's a little bit disconcerting. But not that bad. And this is a historical photo hanging on the wall. And this is the, uh, the boarding area where people get where people enter. And yeah, so there you go. Anywhere in the world you want to go, you can go there now. You can be immersed. You can feel as though you're there just using the integration of existing Google Street View data with the Oculus Rift. Um, this, is, uh, this web application, you can also use it with your mouse. So if you don't have a Rift, go ahead and visit it and try it out. The tracking as you look from side to side is obviously much smoother and much more immediate than it is when you're using the actual Google Street View application, which is really cool. And um, if you find any really cool places to visit, please go ahead and post them in the comments, and I will check them out.
Thanks everyone for watching and have a great every day.